All right, today we're taking a look at this Bouge RV N-Type bifacial solar panel with 16 bus bars. This is the newest technology. We're gonna get this out of the box, test it out and see how well it does. One of the main advantages of this particular panel and what makes it new is that there's 16 bus bars if you count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And they're half cut cells as well. So there's more power going this way and this way. And, and these are bifacial. By doing all of this improvements between the half cut cells, the 16 bus bars and the bifacial, they're able to make a much smaller 200 watt panel. So if you're short on space and you're putting this up on a roof, they're perfect. What I'm gonna do is mount them to the roof of this, what I'm calling my hobo lander, where the roof is white and I'll put them on some brackets that can be raised up. And it's the perfect panel for this. It's getting late in the day now, so we'll get this set up tomorrow and take a look at it. I'm gonna quickly pause this video for a moment and ask you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. So go ahead and click that subscribe button and the like button as well while you're at it. Then ring that notification bell to get, to get notifications. I'd really appreciate it. Now let's get back to it. Living free. <laughs> I got Mike here from Living Free on YouTube who lives in the area and uh, came over for a visit. Come check me out. And uh, he's gonna help me get this 200-watt this, uh, yeah. panel up on the roof of my hobo lander here. Let's get this thing up there and we'll test it out. I don't know if I can lift this. Yeah. Hey. Ah! Oh! 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 That is one thing I like about the 200-watt uh, panels. Yeah. Is they're easier to handle. Sure. That is a lot lighter weight than I expected it to be. That wasn't too bad. My uh, my angle mounts haven't come in yet. That's what I was planning to do, and that's why I needed Mike's help. But they didn't come in. So we're just going to test this since we have the sun almost directly overhead. We'll hook this up to my uh, solar panel tester. Yep. And uh, see what kind of output we're getting. We might have to pull yeah, that cable out. I think we're going to have to. Untie We might need a cutter. Nice. All right. Here we go. Let's see if this is as advertised. That's right. <laughs> you almost never get as advertised. Yeah. But I'll tell you, sometimes out here it does get close. Yeah. I had a couple of panels. In fact, that one over there. I get like 205 watts out of that 200 watt panel all the time. Oh my. At peak periods. Pretty efficient. Yeah, exactly. And this is, that's the beauty of this is supposed to be super efficient with 16 bus bars. Yeah. Let's see what we got. 156.5 watts. Oh, I bet you it, it'll go up if I. Yeah, let's try tilting sun. it a little and do it again. Yeah. Aim it right. There you go. Let's try that again. Oh yeah, 192.9 watts. All right. Now we're talking. Yeah, it's better. You get it again? Yeah. Yeah, these definitely is a bifacial panel, and then we have a white top on here. Right. It makes a huge difference with the bifacial because it gets the reflection from back here yeah. back onto the panel. Yeah. So you really want to, if you're really looking for small efficient panels. A bifacial is the way to go if you're going to tilt them. If you're going to flat mount them, it doesn't make much difference. Yeah. That's well, why that's... you're only getting 150 with it not tilted sure. and 191, 192 tilted. Will that tell you what the uh, amps and yeah, volts uh, are too? Yeah, 30.58 30 volts, 6.24 amps. All right. Voltage open circuit, 35.59 volts. Hey, it's as advertised. Yeah, that's a, so that's good. That's excellent. 
got a hard face on it so yeah. it can handle a uh, hail and stuff. Yeah. I like the black frame too. Yeah. It's really nice, especially if you have quite a few of them yeah, all the together. Yeah, black aluminum frame. And the plastic corners. Hopefully those hold up well. I think they'll help you, especially for mounting and getting them on there originally. Uh, would be helpful. Yeah. For stacking them up and stuff like that. And they say it's, it's a good looking panel. It is. All right. All right. <laughs> well, thanks for helping me out. Oh, of course. All right. It was good to see you. Nice to see you, Keith. All right. All right. Well, that was really cool to meet Mike over at his Living Free YouTube channel. He's a really cool and funny guy, and if you're not already subscribed to his channel, I encourage you to go check him out. He's been doing the RV living and off-grid thing for a long time. I'll drop a link in the description box below where you can go check him out. So, we've got our 200 watt panel hooked up to our Bouge RV uh, Sunflow 30 solar charge controller. And now let's go outside and let's demonstrate the shade tolerance of this panel. Okay, we're getting 156 watts right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and show the, some of the shade tolerance capabilities of this. As you can see, my shadow here is coming on, covering a good portion of this panel, and we're still getting 67 watts. I'm going to come up a little bit more, cover more of it. We're still getting 66 watts with a look at the size of the uh, shadow on this panel. I'm going to come dead center on the panel now. I don't know if I can do that without blocking the camera here. 81 watts. So that's one of the beauties of this panel is the shade tolerance capabilities. And that's what these 16 bus bars are going to give you. The question I guess that remains is would I recommend this panel? And the answer is absolutely yes. Especially if you're going to plan to tilt those panels uh, on the roof of an RV or a van or something like that. And, um, if you're gonna, if you're gonna mount them flat, you know, you can get by with something a little bit cheaper, but I think it's worth the extra money, especially if you're gonna be in an RV or a van and you, you don't know where you're gonna be parking and you might have some shade or something like that with your panels because they work really good in the shade. So that wraps up this video. All right, I did a, also did a full review on this uh, solar charge controller and you can see that full review by clicking the link right here. And I'll see you in the next video.